Hi, my name is Nick Nickam and welcome to Triple N Media. Are you thinking of getting a mailbox for your new business or maybe you're trying to downsize your business and you're wondering what's the best option? Uh, there are a couple of options available. You can get a PO box at a post office or at a new PS service. So let's look at what are the pros and cons of having a mailbox at a post office or at a UPS store. There's a third option, which is to use your home address, which I would not recommend you use it because you don't want everybody in your business and your creditors to get hold of your home address. Okay, let's move on to look at the pros and cons of uh, having a mailbox at the post office or at an UPS post office close to your location because they are delivering mail to you. UPS, you may have to locate the closest UPS to your zip code. They may not have it in your area. That's So that's one of the things. The most important thing is uh, when you have a mailbox at a post office, then you're going to have some problem with the government documents. If you want to apply for a license, if you want to register as a corporation, they need physical address. And that's what the UPS service provides. Uh, this is the UPS. They provide a, a, a physical address which is needed to get registration, licenses or certifications. The address will come as PO box at the, the post office and whereas with the UPS it will come like a regular uh, mailing address then you'll be able to use that uh, like an actual business address on your business cards. Here's another important thing. Say for example UPS or FedEx or someone else delivers a package and they need a signature then regular post office may, PO boxes may not provide that service unless unless you get a premium service that means it's going to increase your cost and they may be able to provide whereas the UPS generally sign the documents on your behalf they keep it on the side and you can go and pick up your parcels can you call the post office to see if you have any mail in your box forget it whereas UPS if you make friends with your uh, local store uh, owner uh, they will be happy to check your mailbox and see if you have any mail so that you don't have to make an unnecessary trip to the UPS office to find out that you don't have any mail. Here's another important thing. Let's say you move your business from one location to the other. If you have a PO box, the post office will forward your mail to your new location for a year or so without any charges. But if you have a mailbox, at the UPS service, then they may not forward your mail and packages and all these things. So that's an important thing to consider. What about the length of the contract? Post office, you can rent the mailbox for a month or semi-annually or annually, whereas with the UPS, you may have to get, uh, I'm, I don't know, maybe six to 12 months period. I'll, I know you're dying to find out what is the cost. <laughs> Of course, the post office has the most economical rate, whereas uh, the UPS charges maybe almost twice or more than what you would normally pay for a post office mailbox. So you need to take so many things into consideration, the most important of which is to make sure that you have a physical address if you are using for business purposes so that you can get government documents. That's one of the main things you have to consider because you don't want to sign up with a postal service post office box. Then you realize, well, that's not going to work. So I need to change it. So every time you change, you're going to lose some of your mail. So think twice, call, do the research yourself and see what, what best fits your needs. I am Nick Nickham and I hope this has been useful to you and please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much.